Britain's newest welterweight star, Jawaid Khalik. The IBO title could be his passport to the top, one in style against Willie Wise. That right hand hurts Wise. Another body shot as well. Khalik could be on the verge of something very significant. This is the performance so far of Jawaid Khalik's career. It's a massive win and a crowning night for Jawaid Khalik. And Jawaid Khalik, the man who's emerged over the past couple of years as potentially Britain's best bet in this division. He's 31 now, but suddenly it's all fallen into place and Nottingham has become a very successful hunting ground for him. He holds the IBO welterweight title belt. It's a defence in front of his hometown crowd tonight at the Harvey Haddon Centre. <laughs> 250 wins in 280 claimed 15 fights, 15 wins in the pay ranks. Maybe Poland have a hidden secret. Yeah, well, it certainly has an excellent uh, amateur record. Very well schooled. A lot of the, the bosses from that uh, side of the world don't adapt too well to the professional game. We'll have to wait and see, but he'll pose different problems but for Khalid tonight. So hopefully Khalid just tries to get the fight under control as soon as possible. Get this fellow on the end of the long punches, have a good look at him, then decide how to go about the job. Getting the booze into the ring. The Nottingham faithful waiting for their man, Javed Khalid. But Khalid leaving his dressing room and there'll be some noise in here as he enters a really great atmospheric night. to those that wait. First pair of boxing gloves at 16, ABA champion at 26, IBO holder at 30, unified champion at 35. Well, he has at least put in a call to Sugar Shane Mosley. Maybe Nottingham's Joey Kelly or Jab to his hundreds of fans may never change the history books of great triumphs, but he's every bit as popular in these parts such a huge role model to the Asian kids that they'll take him over Sugar Shane any day of the week. A cult hero, the only boxer of Pakistani heritage to win a version of the world title in this very arena. He did it against the sly old American Willie Wise. He's starting to box beautifully to plan Jim as he flourishes at 31. Yeah, sometimes it's nice uh, when your success comes a little bit later in life because you're more mature to cope with it, you're more settled in your ways, you've settled down, so, so you treat it very seriously. You also know it's the last chance you're going to get at this level, so you give it your full attention. And uh, Khalid is a total professional, always in the best of shape, and it's lovely to see things happening for him, and I hope he has another successful evening. The durable box fighter. The big right-hand power, he does cut, he likes to keep things at range, and he's got a fighter in front of him who could be very classy tonight. Look at the support, though. They do love him here in Nottingham. He's been back page of the papers for the last few days. Now he's got to perform in front of the people that love him so much. Undefeated in 15 contests, 15 wins, four inside the scheduled distance. He comes to the ring as the current undefeated IBO Intercontinental Waterweight Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, WHO Vitami in Nottingham. He's from Elbron, Poland. And now the champion. He's fighting out of the blue corner. He's wearing the white trunks, trimmed with yellow, and weighed in at 10 stone, six pounds, 13 ounces. Bringing a 17 fight record. 15 wins, nine inside the scheduled distance. One loss, one draw. He makes his first defense. He comes to the ring as the reigning and defending.
instructions, obey the rules and display good sportsmanship. Shake hands, back to your corners, come out boxing. Intense atmosphere here, the hordes and hordes of Pakistani faithful who follow the Nottingham cab driver all around the streets. The Muslim father of four who was as appalled as the rest of us by Tuesday's atrocity. A gentle Asian family man who wants to dedicate this to peace-loving Muslims worldwide. The first defence of his IBO 10 stone 7 title they say staying a champion is so much harder than becoming one, especially if you're facing an opponent who's never tasted defeat. Kalik told me he's done even more homework on Jacek Bielski than he did on Willie Wise, and Jim, he may need to have done. Yeah, he may need to, but we already knew uh, Willie Wise uh, pretty well, we knew what he was capable of, but this girl is more of a dark horse. Uh, the first thing is that he wants to come forward. He's physically strong looking. Hands are up nice and high, but it might be good news if he wants to come forward and commit himself. I was more worried he was going to be a counter puncher and they uh, force Kalik to, to force the pace, but uh, early days yet. Upright, orthodox style of Bielski, who has that brilliant amateur record and fought in the Atlanta Olympics. So the pedigree's there. Kalik looking for the body. Trying to spear his jab out as the range fighter can start slowly. Jawid Khalik, the one defeat on his record to Frederic Kloss in Epinay, was possibly down to that. He gave away the first three or four rounds and begun slowly against Willie Wise. Can't afford to do that here with Bielski who he's seen plenty of, but an unbeaten fighter is a very dangerous one. Well, in the first round, Ibilski's finding it difficult to find his range with Kalik. They're just stepping back at every time. Let's so have a look at the replays. That little uppercut. Yep, I would say almost definitely that's what caused it. There's not, there was not a clash of heads all the way through. Quite the opposite, both at long range. And it's Kalik who's cut several times before, but Bielski tonight, the challenger for the title in the black trunks, 29 years of age, from Elmblad, 